this exhibition is another celebration of life, as represented by the Egyptian symbol, the Ankh, meaning the key of life. It is an open invitation to all of us to share the key of life, to offer hope, to spread harmony, and to promote peace. Today, in this chasm of misunderstanding that exists between the Middle East and the West, I think our day calls for a whole new kind of movement, one that builds on what we hold in common. Caravan, as a peace-building arts NGO, originated actually in Egypt when we were trying to build bridges between Christians and Muslims, and we discovered just kind of haphazardly that the arts actually can be one of the most effective mediums of building those bridges. hopefully quite discriminating about what art we have in the church and this one fits our ethos and it fits our vision for what the church should be which is public sacred space and there should be a space here for people of all faiths and none so we just thought there's there's no better way really to try to bring faith together at a time when it's really important to St. James is to visit, are introduced to uh, these symbols that are decorated from different uh, artists coming from uh, different beliefs and uh, backgrounds. And like this, they are introduced to new philosophies. And they know that we are all together human and we, we all wish to live in peace and harmony. I'm a Catholic myself, but I'm also an Arabist, and I'm a great, I have huge respect and, and love for the Muslim world, which I study and reference in my work. In a way, I think it is a prayer, which manifests itself as a, as a visual piece of art. It is called Syncretic Ankh, because as the name implies, it is a very syncretic piece, which I've worked with symbols from from the three monotheistic faiths, and I have let them grow out from the canvas maps of the Holy Land of, of Palestine, which is where, of course, you know, our common origin. One of the things that unites all those who look back in different ways to Abraham as their ancestor in the faith is a love of life, a love of the divine creation. We come to God by humility, by attention, by contemplation, we come to God and we come to one another by humility and attention. And these artworks are works which can stimulate that humble and attentive approach to God. God says, O oh people, we have made you from one man and from one woman. And we have made you into different nations, different tribes, different communities, so that you can encounter each other, engage one another, get to know each other, and enjoy that beauty of diversity. Mm -hmm.